Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for June. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I didn't check the battery before I pushed play, so we're going to hope and pray that it lasts. Um, and maybe that's a message for you. <laughs> hope and pray that it lasts. I mean, prayer works. A lot of people don't realize that, but that message came out for a reason. Um, <laughs> odd. But it is what it is. Every word that comes out during a reading is for you. Trust me, that is the truth. So the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of June. We're going to get one of these and see what comes up. Then we're going to use that deck right there. Um, not every reading is for you. <laughs> I may have already said that. I don't know. Um, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius for the month of June? If it doesn't resonate the minute you watch it, watch it later. A lot of people don't understand that either. They watch it one day and it doesn't resonate on that day. And they, they don't have the... I'm not saying that's you. I don't know where this is coming from. You might It might not resonate the day you watch it. Keep that in mind. Well, this came out reversed and we're going to keep it reversed. And it's actually better in reverse, trust me. Okay, so financial constraints. If you have been having financial constraints, the prob things are probably going to get better. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, by the way. So it, things are probably going to start to get better. Maybe you have been, been, been in financial crisis. Okay, maybe, maybe you have. Um, but I think things are going to get better for you. I mean, with that being in reverse... What do we have for Aquarius? Maybe you'll get a raise. Maybe somebody will give you some money. Maybe you'll win the lottery. I don't know. If, you know, why don't you buy some tickets? It's worth a try. And I remember I just said hope and pray. Interesting. Very interesting. Endings bring new beginnings. This is a trans transition. This is a transformation. I mean, the very first card, the death card, we have a major new beginning here. This is a change. This is a life change. This is transformation. Things are changing for you. You have a new beginning here. And it's major. It's a big one. Something has ended, obviously, or it's about to end. Maybe it's a job. I don't know. Maybe you get a new one for some of you. I don't know. Whatever. you got a new beginning here. Oh, and here we have, you know, by balancing your books, balancing your finances. If you've been juggling and things have been up and down, up and down, you know, maybe this is you being more flexible. Maybe you got to let something go. You know, to have more stability in your life. This is about financial decisions. Make the decisions that you make. You might have to let something go. I don't know what that is, but you're going to receive something. You're receiving some money, okay? You could be receiving, You maybe you get a raise or you win some money or, like I said, or somebody's giving. This is like a gift. This is a gift. Well, it could be a bonus. I don't know what it is, but this is receiving. It's hidden right now. You can't, you don't see it coming. It's not, it hasn't reached the surface yet. Whatever, somebody, you're going to get something and you don't see it yet. It's still hidden. It's, it hasn't come to fruition yet, okay? So, it's coming, whatever it is. Have faith and believe. This is faith. Believe, pray. <laughs> this is a Taurus, by the way. You got Scorpio here and you got Pisces here. But this is deception, this is deception. This is deceit. So I'm not sure if you were deceived by somebody. If you were lied to. But this is have faith. Pray. 
believe. Hope, pray, believe. This is also a card of commitment. Commit to your new beginning. Commit to change. Okay? You're going to have to commit to change. You're going to have to commit to letting something go. You're going to have to commit to taking steps. This is, this is not really taking action. Okay? Um, make sure you're being logical here. Maybe you haven't been logical. Maybe you've made some poor decisions that have caused financial constraints. You know, maybe somebody has acted impulsively and they didn't make right decisions and they lost some money and maybe you got to slow down a little bit, not move so quickly. Make sure that you are thinking about how you spend your money, okay? Oh, God, very much about money this, this reading is. This is a... Uh, Five of Pentacles, this is insecurities being left out in the cold. You may have dealt with somebody who made you financially insecure. Somebody who... Yeah, ghosted you, you know? Somebody who left you to fend for yourself, you know? Left you hanging. Could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm not sure. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, and we have a loss of money. So yeah, you have been, you have experienced, or a loss of something. doesn't have to be money, but this is loss. You've had some significant loss. There's been a death. There's been an ending, okay? Something has, has caused you to lose. Oh, there's been a loss. I mean, death is a loss. But with whatever this loss is, there is a new beginning, okay? Have faith and believe you know, everything happens for a reason. You may have been left to, to offend for yourself, to go your own way. You may have been ghosted or whatever. But you have the strength. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. You have the ability to take the lead. Maybe maybe some of you start your own business. This is an entrepreneur that starts their own business. Maybe you come up with a plan and you start your own business. Maybe you, you partner up with somebody. I mean, this is a partnership. Maybe you partner up with, and this is two. Maybe you partner up with somebody that, you know, can uh, support you emotionally. Maybe it's time to follow your heart. You need to follow your intuition. There has definitely been some sort of significant loss here. And I think that you guys are about to, this is take action. I think that you are about to take action, Aquarius. I think that your intuition is really talking to you at this time. I think that you are very intuitive. <laughs> and you're going to be receiving help from somebody. You are. Somebody's going to help you. Somebody's been focusing on this loss. And we have somebody, I think we have somebody here that, you know, that can help you. And maybe you're just not seeing that this person is a viable opportunity. But you need to walk away from something. You need to leave something behind that has caused you a serious disturbance. You know, it's caused you a serious disappointment. Yeah, you've got to let something go. You've got to walk away from something. I don't know what it is. I feel like you guys have been wounded. You have been wounded, right? You have. I feel like you've come a long, long ways. you just got to find that strength. you got to find that confidence. you got to replace that fear with faith. This is, it's seriously, you've got to replace that fear with faith. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. Look how far you have come. Your hard work will pay off. I think you may be on the edge of giving up. Don't give up. Don't give up because you have a major new beginning here. And there's somebody that is going to pay you or help you or something like that. You need to you need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. You know, hard work. This is a hard work pays off. I mean, it really, really, really does. Um, perseverance. That's what I needed to say. Perseverance pays off. You guys may have experienced a tower moment, or maybe you are experiencing one right now. This is a huge life change, like I said earlier. This is a huge, pivotal point in your life where things come crashing down. It comes in as a shock, and, and you have to recover. So I think that you guys are going through a recovery right now, or you're about to. Okay, this is a this is a this is a major serious life change that you have encountered or you are about to encounter. It's something that needed to happen. Somebody was um, 
involved in a false foundation or a false um, sense of security. Okay, it's like they were they were. It wasn't stable. Wherever they were, it wasn't stable. It wasn't solid. It wasn't built to last. It wasn't meant to last. It needed to come down because I don't know why. It needed to come down for a reason. This is the universe. The universe has come in or it is coming in to change your life so that you can go in the direction that you are meant to go in. This is a cleansing. Something needed to be cleansed out, cleansed out of your life. Because it was it's time, it's time for you to build a new foundation that is in alignment with who you are. I think that you were probably dealing with somebody who didn't have a lot of integrity and it caused you to lose your focus it caused you to lose your ambition you know it brought you down definitely you know there wasn't any maybe you were in a situation where there was no emotional fulfillment either and maybe there, just, there was no love there whatever and when there's no love everything else falls to pieces because that's just the way it is a lot of people don't understand that but that is the truth. So I think that there's somebody has been in a situation where there's there was no emotional fulfillment at all. And when you when you when there's no love, whether it's your job or your relationship, it it, it, it eats you alive, and it causes everything else to fall apart. Because we need love. That's what I mean. We do. So I think that somebody is fearful. They're fearful of this is the clean slate. This is this is starting over. They're fearful, you know, because they were so comfortable in that false foundation. Yeah, it was comfortable there, but it really wasn't comfortable. This is fear, fear of the unknown. You need to take a risk. It's time for you to fly. Don't let fear get in the way. Somebody, it's like somebody would you'd be foolish. To stay in this false sense of security. Seriously. This is no faith. Somebody has been mentally exhausted by holding on to this whatever it was. This is the death of an idea. It's time to let go of that. It's time for you to withdraw. Somebody's been feeling dead inside for too long. It's time to live again. It's time for you to broaden your horizons and expand. This is expansion. They do this for me all the time. Focus on the future. Let go of the past. Don't look back. Don't look back at what caused you all these financial constraints. Don't look back at it. Get prepared for better things. Hope and pray. This is hope and pray for the best as well. Take that step into the unknown and hope and pray for the best. And if you believe, you'll get what you want. Trust me. I'm the Hierophant. I'm Taurus. I started this business on faith. Faith alone. I believed. You can do it too. It doesn't mean you do this business, but you can, this is somebody that has the potential to start their own business. That came out for a reason. But we got somebody here that is clinging to control. Resisting change. Ha! Huh? And this resisting change... This fear of the unknown is causing bad luck. It's causing, you know, you not to get your reward. 
You have the skills to live your best life. Take action. Go your own way. Go independent. You can do this. Don't abuse yourself. Don't sabotage yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Stop doubting yourself. Stop letting people control you. Stop letting people abuse you. You have the skills and the knowledge to go your own way and to be successful. Trust me. Some of you need to go your own way and leave an abusive situation. You could be dealing with a very mean-spirited individual who's holding you back. There's no growth there. There's no happiness there. It's affecting your health. And somebody's not listening to their intuition. You have other options. Choose wisely. What you own owns you. Is that what you want? You want another person to own you? When you can take care of business on your own, go your own way. Somebody is holding on to a situation because they're resisting change. Really, really resisting change. Somebody's dealing with a very greedy individual. And you have something more emotionally fulfilling waiting for you. You may, you got. So I think we have somebody here that will help you. It's time for you to follow your dreams. This is follow your dreams. You could have somebody that is younger than you that can help you. You know, maybe they have some skills that you don't have. You got a helper, somebody that can help you. Somebody that maybe they can even help you financially. So I feel like you, you know, need to come up with a plan. This is a planner. Come up with a plan and take steps in the new direction. I really feel like a lot of you, that's what you're doing because you need to have faith. You need to believe. You need to pray. You need to come up with a new plan and head in a new direction. I really feel like things are about to change. And this is once you take action. The King of Wands doesn't think about it. Take This person takes action. Yeah, you do need to come up with a plan, but then you need to take action. Go your own way, whether it's work-wise or it's relationship-wise. Wherever you're at, there's no growth. There's no happiness here. And somebody's been living a lie. <laughs> there's an opportunity to receive more abundance more money you can get more money if you go your own way however that resonates with you broaden your horizon step over that edge step into the unknown because once you step over the grass will be greener and that is what I got Aquarius good luck